Welcome. In this video tutorial, we will use Weblink to record gays from infants while they view a live puppet show type experiment. The tutorial will explain how to implement a customized calibration procedure where no monitor or screen is involved and demonstrate the use of Weblink's scene camera component. This sketch illustrates the overall setup required to record gays while participants view a live puppet show. A scene camera records the area in which the puppet show will be held. For this project we will use a simple webcam mounted on a tripod that is placed just behind the participant, slightly above their head. The webcam is attached to the computer running Weblink. The iLink camera needs to be at the usual distance from the participant and slightly below the puppet show area, just as it would be slightly below the monitor in a typical eye tracking scenario. For this project we used a portable duo which can easily be mounted on any standard tripod, but you could also use a desktop mounted iLink 1000 Plus placed on a table or bench in front of the puppet show area. The experimenters can be positioned behind the participant so they don't cause a distraction. Here are a couple of photos of actual setups. You can see the scene camera mounted on its tripod, the eye tracker and calibrated plane puppet show area. The area in which the puppet show will take place is illustrated by this blue area in the sketch. The eye tracker needs to be calibrated to this plane, but as there is no screen to display calibration targets on, we will need to create a calibration board. This board is used for the calibration procedure and then removed to reveal the puppet show area. The board should be rectangular in shape and large enough to cover the area in which the puppet show will take place. The one used in this project is about 110 by 60 centimetres. For older children or adult participants, you can just mark the calibration target locations with stickers. For infants, it can help to cut holes in the board through which you can wave toys or lights to capture the infant's attention. You could also wave toys over the stickers. You should make as many marks or holes in the calibration board as the number of targets in your calibration model. In this example, we'll be testing infants, so we'll just be doing a five point calibration. It's important that the marks are placed in the same pattern as the calibration targets, but you don't need to measure anything or be exact. As we'll see, Weblink allows you to adjust the calibration grid very easily. Let's create a Weblink project. First, we add a camera setup component to the timeline. We can leave the settings at their defaults for now. Next, we add a scene camera component. When you add a scene camera component, Weblink will default to using a 13 point calibration model. But as we'll be testing infants and only want to use a 5 point model, we can go back to the camera setup component and make that change. Clicking back on the scene camera component, we can select our webcam from the external video source drop down in the properties panel. If the camera is functioning, you should see the video feed in the preview area. Weblink will list the various resolutions and formats that the selected video source supports in the video format drop down. Select the most appropriate. In this case, I'm choosing the camera's native HD resolution. The view from the scene camera is unlikely to be a perfect fit with the calibration board. For example, the camera may view a larger area. So the first thing we need to do is to define the location of the calibration board within the view from the scene camera. Select the Adjust Tracking Area button in the preview panel and adjust the window appropriately. Press Enter when you're done. Next, click the Adjust Calibration Grid button and move each calibration target marker so that it maps up with the corresponding location on the calibration board. Again, press Enter when you're done. The final change we need to make is to tell Weblink the width and height of our calibration board along with its distance from the participant and its distance from the iLink camera. We do this via the Experiment Configuration panel. All measurements are in millimetres. In order to facilitate subsequent analysis, it can help to set up hotkeys in Weblink that can be used to send messages to the iLink data file. For example, the experimenter could press the spacebar to send a message indicating the start of the puppet show. Other hotkeys could be defined to mark other key events or even participant behaviours such as inattention. At this point, the experiment can be run. Perform the calibration by either requesting the participant to look at each target in turn, or, if working with infants, direct their attention to each target position using a toy or light. 
After calibration is complete, the calibration board can be removed and the puppet show can begin. During recording, the preview panel will show the video feed from the scene camera, as well as the calibrated gaze cursor. When you are done, press F2 and the data will be saved. The iLink data file can be opened in Data Viewer, where you can play back the recording in the Trial Playback Animation view. You can also create interest periods, and static or dynamic interest areas, just as you would with any other iLink recording. I hope this video tutorial was useful. Please do check out the other videos in this series. And as ever, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact our support service via the support forum or email.